This question, a two kilogram wooden toy is being dragged across a rough floor with a, um, an applied force of 11 newtons. So we have some kind of a toy um, being dragged across the, a rough floor. Let's say it's a little toy car. Here's a rough floor. In this case, rough means friction, right? So we're going to put an applied force in the forward direction, and there is a force of friction opposing the motion. You can see that the applied force is greater than the force of friction, friction so this object will accelerate in this direction. Um, it's important to choose a sign convention. So since the truck will be accelerating this way, we're going to make this direction positive and this direction negative. If the question is asking us for the acceleration of the toy. So we're going to start this problem the way we always do with F net. The two ways we think of F net. One is it's equal to the mass times acceleration. And the other way we think of F net is the sum of the forces. So we can say MA equals. Now what are the sum of the forces? When we add up the forces, we have in the horizontal direction, we have applied force and force of friction and we're going to put it like that, FA, but since FF is in the opposite direction, we're going to add the negative of FF. And we know all the information except A, so we're just going to plug in those values. So we have 2A for the mass of 2 equals, we know that the applied force is 11 newtons, and we know that the frictional force is 5 newtons, so we end up with 2A equals 13, no, 18, Nope, 16. Um, what am I doing here? It's 11 plus negative 5. So we end up with 2A equals 6, A equals 3, and the units are meters per second squared. You can see, if you, if you want to look at the units a little more carefully, you can see that 2 is actually 2 kilograms um, times A, right? And then 6 is 6 newtons. So when you actually divide this out, you get A equals 3 newtons per kilogram. But you remember from before, we talked about since F equals MA, we have that a newton is equal to a kilogram meter per second squared. So when we plug that in to here, um, we're actually going to cancel. We're going to end up with 3 kilogram meter per second squared over kilograms, the kilograms cancel out and that's how we end up with three meters per second squared. So the answer is the acceleration is three meters per second squared.